Hey, Mike McCloy here with Twin Harbor Web Solutions. Just a uh, quick video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer a SQL, Microsoft SQL Server 2005 database using Visio 2003. Uh, there's a few little quirks and stuff, and mainly I'm making this for my own memory because every so often I have to do this and I never seem to remember uh, what the problems were. But now that I've taken the time to do it, maybe it'll help someone else too. So, first thing you have to do, Visio 2003 you want to make sure you're at least on Service Pack 3. Um, as of today, that is the latest version, but in the Service Pack 3, um, it fixes a number of different issues related to SQL 2005, amongst other things. So, um, quickest way to do that, Microsoft.com slash downloads, and search for Visio 2003 Service Pack. Right now it's SP3. Um, who knows, maybe it'll be SP4 in the future. And just get the latest, install it, and that fixes one set of problems. Next thing you have to do, let's go ahead and open Visio real quick. Office Visio. Make a new database model, model diagram here. And we're going to go to reverse engineer. And we'll go ahead and as if we were creating a new one here, I'm going to use the system data source. Scroll on down to SQL Server driver. That's good. We're going to give it a name, call it Sample2, because I already made the other one before. One quick tip here on this box, if I hit that down arrow, it always sits there thinking about the network too long. So you can save yourself some time by saying localhost, if you're working with a local database. Then we're just going to click Next right on here. At this point, when I had clicked this Next button, a lot of times, all of a sudden it freezes, and I had to spend some time to figure out why. As it turns out, SQL Server 2005 has TCP IP disabled by default when you install it. So what you want to do is go to Microsoft SQL Server, Configuration Tools, the Configuration Manager. We'll go ahead and open that up. We're going to push down here into Protocols for MS SQL Server. By default, TCP IP is disabled. And as it turns out, that's how Visio is trying to connect. So you want to right click on that and hit Enable. It'll warn you that you have to restart the service in order to make it go. I've already done it here. So at that point, you just pop on over to the main item here and just click on this item, Microsoft SQL Server, and hit restart. Services will restart, at which point those protocols are enabled. Close out here, and now when you get to this stage and hit next, it can see the database. I can change my default database to the one that I want to reference. I have a little sample database here for the sake of the video. Say OK, everything's OK. Next. It does ask you for a password. Go ahead and punch your password in. In this case, I'm just using SA for development. And select some tables that you want to reverse engineer. I'm not going to worry about any procedures. Add shapes, yes. Good. And there's my little shapes. Let me zoom in and see that we have, we have some nice little uh, database tables right here. Hope that helps.